here's my development cell for the touch screen. We have a touch screen, we have a, a prototype board for, uh, for the shield, and then we have a UNO. Uh, the, it's all pre pretty large, but uh, uh, if you want to uh, have reasonably large buttons to press uh, uh, on the display, it's handy that it's uh, not, not uh, too small. Uh, and the, Though the uh, shield could certainly be smaller than uh, what I made, it's uh, just a little easier to, uh, to work with it this way. And I'm using this as my development uh, uh, setup, so I don't really care what the form factor is. Uh, let's uh, t try out the GUI. Uh, we, it's a little counter, so we start the counter. The counter goes over and stops. Uh, we can also start the counter and stop the counter. Uh, let's edit this value. Uh, it uh, it uh, draws reasonably slowly. I'll make it negative, shall we? Okay. And now if we start it, it'll come uh, downwards. There we have it. Okay, let's take a little look at the electronics a little bit. Uh, the display. This is the main header. Uh, Display controls on this side, touch screen controls on that side, and uh, here uh, would be the uh, pins for uh, the SD card, which I haven't tried. The shield, here's the header for the display. Uh, there are three logic level uh, converters uh, for, for the voltage. They can handle 12 lines, and we only use 11. Uh, and I have a little stand. Uh, which you wouldn't need if you had this in, a, in a, some sort of a housing. Uh, here are our pins for uh, plugging into UNO and for, uh, for uh, all the pins that are not exclusively used by the display is uh, I have a little takeout pins so if I develop an, a little device I can go in and plug whatever I need in without really soldering anything in, into here. And so that's pretty much it. There's plenty of space if you uh, want to add some components to your device. Uh, you can certainly have a little smaller uh, shield, uh, but it's, sh it's not going to be that much smaller given the form factors of UNO and the display. Uh, all the details are in Instructables, so happy reading and happy building if you like to build one.